here I am in InDesign. I'm working on a client's book project. And I'm trying to anchor photos in line with the text so that when I make text changes, when the client gives me feedback, the text uh, and the pictures stay together as they flow. So um, here's a picture. Uh, if I were to just put it in line with the text, you'll see that the text wraps around it. <laughs> if I make an adjustment to the text, for example, this is an orphan line. Say I wanted to put a, uh, a page break uh, here at the end. Uh, break character, right? That'll knock that line to the next page. Um, but then uh, the, the photo um, doesn't move with the text. Um, so say, say for example, this, this was lined up with this paragraph instead, right? And then I needed to change something here. Um, the picture doesn't stay with the text, you'll see. It, it gets out of alignment. So that's the problem, one of the problems. Um, the next, uh, the solution to that is to insert it as an anchored object. The problem with that is that anchored objects behave very erratically and unpredictably and are very frustrating to use. So um, I can't just right click on this and turn this into an anchored object. There's no way to do that. The only way to do it is to go to object, anchored object, insert, but you can't have anything selected to go to this. So I have to deselect everything. Then I go to object, anchored object, insert. Uh, this will ask me what I want to be. A, I have a graphic, I have a picture style selected already where the, the corners are rounded and it gives it some text wrap around it so that it, uh, the text flows around it. Uh, generally, I'll do one inch by two inches to kind of get this landscape look. Uh, I want it to be in line, which means uh, attached to the text as opposed to, to uh, something else. And then I'll go ahead and hit OK. Uh, but it won't do anything because I didn't have my uh, cursor attached to any particular point in the text. Uh, so it doesn't tell you that, it just disappears. And f unless you're highly intelligent and can figure this out, there's no way to know what you're doing wrong. This is a very frustrating process. So say, for example, I want it to be attached here at the top. So I, uh, go ahead. I, I set this uh, keyboard to option I. I set the shortcut to uh, insert anchored object so I don't have to keep going through the menu system. Uh, and it gives me the option to uh, anchor it here. I hit OK, and it creates a box. That's great. <clears throat> but when I move it up here, the top line, which is where it's supposed to wrap around, is unaffected by it. So any text uh, after this will be affected. But this has to go on a line uh, above it, it's, it seems. So my process before was I would move out the picture, I'd select the interior picture, I would right click on this and say paste into, and then I would uh, hit command option uh, C to fit the frame to the content, and then I would move it over here. But the problem is, is <clears throat> this top line is now behind the picture. So uh, my options, uh, I've tried every option in the book with this. I go to anchored object, which now appears here. I can hit options. I change every option here. Uh, nothing changes it. I can change the anchor point. You'll see the top line uh, doesn't change. I change anchor points here. Nothing changes. I change from text frame to anchor marker. Uh, does that work? I can't move it around while well, I'm checking here. Column edge, text frame, page margin, page edge. It should be text frame. I want it to move with the text frame. That's what I want it to do. Uh, the baseline basically means the baseline of this. So uh, if I go to, uh, it'll put it at the bottom of the line at which it's applied to. So for example, this is the top of the letting of this secondary line. These are default uh, measurements here. I put this back to zero. It moves it to the beginning. It's, it's just really weird. And it, it doesn't wrap this first line. It's just totally frustrating. So what I do is I delete it, and then I put it on this line over here, for example. 
Yeah, option I. Okay, insert it on the one before. Okay, great. So now when I move this text frame over here, great, it moves it. But as you can see, the text frame content is unselectable. Like I, I click off, I can't. I can select it, but you'll see that the content is behind this paragraph. I go ahead and copy this picture again. I paste it into it, and the picture's there, but it's not being able to be seen through the paragraph object. I send the paragraph object to the back. Okay, that worked. That's good. Yay, something worked. Command option E. Command option. Oops, undo command. Shift E. No, that fits it. That command option C. There we go. Now let's see what happens if I change this here. Hit Enter. Uh, it totally does not behave the way it needs to behave. So if I were to change something above it here. Um, it uh, has this page break. So I guess if I remove the page break, uh, I press enter, that's there, but where did the picture go? It just disappeared. So this type of behavior is unbelievably frustrating. Here we go. It's, it's way out over there in the middle of nowhere. And then I put it where I want it and it moves. And it keeps moving further and further away from where I want it to go. Uh, this is just the most frustrating, unprofessional, most ridiculous, unintelligent way of organizing this function. So I need this fixed. Now, Adobe, make me able to take a picture, right? Which is a regular old picture. Put the picture in there. I have the, the object here. I want to be able to right click say make anchored object and then I have a little icon of an anchor and I can attach it where I want to attach it to and it stays there in relationship to that project into that object that's what I want make that happen thank you